Deion Sanders said that certain teams will be off limits. That's what he said, off limits. Uh, when it comes to drafting, Shadur and Travis Hunter. I know where I want them to go. Uh, there's certain cities where it's not going to happen, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do an Eli Manning sort of thing. All right, so um, on this guy's co- podcast, whoever this fuck is. So having said that. Could have said the same thing about me when I had him on. <laughs> right, like. No, million I, dollar I, the game is one of the biggest podcasts now right now. We ain't gotta hate. Fuck. We ain't gotta hate like that. You know what I mean? Like we use like this. I said whoever those fucks are. I didn't hate. Why did I, I, I hate? What I'm are saying, their names? Really? I, I want to be clear. How am it's I? Hate? Gilly the kid and Wallow. No, million dollar worth the game. They do a really good job, actually. Okay, I didn't say they did it. When did I say they did it? No, I just no. no I we just broke, said we broke yeah. him up. You I was know, like, "Who is this fuck? He, he whoa, ain't the culture. I'm the culture. I'm from Kansas. Like, like, come on, whoa, 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 whoa! Fuckers on social media that takes whoa. a trip and takes it and runs with it. You're no different. Whoa. Sucks. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Smitty took saying, a trigger I'm word saying. and ran with it as I'm a hater. I ain't no fucking hater. I could give a fuck less. I never they even seen one that. podcast. How am I hating? I they said, do. who are these fucks? They Why is that hating? They do a good job. No, 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 no. See, Smitty be taking the bullshit ass fucking soft ass route and trigger wording my ass and putting it out there like is I'm this, the hater and is shit. Is this the new thing where you just fuck baiting and he out? <laughs> I don't give a fuck who the Gilly Cuddy is or whatever his name is. Fuck him. Cool. I think they do a good job. What's the what's the topic? Then it's good. They make more money than me and Smitty. I know that. Fuck them. Right. That's my point. So yeah, I, I, I can't talk shit about right. motherfucker bigger than me. Is what I'm trying to say. Hey, they don't make I'm more money than me. Shut your motherfucking ass down. Fuck them. Okay. Now, well, now what was your what was the question? Now what was the question? You just want me to yell at these two guys? I might have them or you or who? Oh, the question is. <laughs> I guess I don't know a question. I just want to get your take on this whole Deion Sanders shit. Uh, okay, so, so let's. I'll you all me call him. Torch. I think y'all call him Prime up there. Well, I call him Coach Prime. Sanders. Well, I call him Coach Sanders. Sanders. Y'all call him Prime. So yeah, well, let's me. dive into Prime's take on where his kids will and won't go. Before I ask you question, before I get that from you, I want to. Yes. I want you to get my take on this. Um, oh. Of course. Not my take on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you talk first, but I want to get I want to get this take from you. Yes. Don't you think we lack, and I use the word force, forcing children to become to be children? I think we used to do that. Your dad did that to you, my dad did it to me. I think what? your mom did it to you. We forced, forced you to be a child. We I think we forced our parents forced us to be children, meaning this is the car you're getting. You're going to learn this how to drive this oh, shitty okay. car. Yeah. Well, and you're going to like yeah. it or wear it. Like, there's no, here's a Lamborghini. I know you don't know how to change the brakes. Go, <laughs> take it. So, I'm just saying, Smith, Matt, aren't we, wouldn't it, I'm just asking you a question, Matt. Wouldn't you rather force kids to be kids than allow them to be adults when they're not ready? No. If, if their right. father is Deion Sanders, dog, it's not normal. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying in general, though, we're seeing it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the majority of kids can, I, all I do is work with pretty much high school kids and young college players. The majority of them are 99% of them are in old fucked up trucks and 15 year old fucking civics and like, you know, like changing their tires out in front of the fucking gym. Cause one of them's flat after the work, like. I, not every single kid is like just getting handed bags and super fucking spoiled. Like there's still a whole lot of workers out there. Now, now, when you have when you're a Manning and you have the ability to say, I don't want to play for the Chargers, well, you're probably gonna take some heat from it for the people who can't pull that off. But your last name is Manning. When you're that's a football. That's a that's one of the pillars of football families in the NFL. Okay, it's I'm like glad you Ma- said it's like, the, it's like the Matthews and like I'm glad you the said Long. That. You know what I'm saying? And like the Sanders are that's where they're going because Shiloh and Shador are about to be draft picks next year, and Shador might be number one. So that they're gonna have a pillar too. They're gonna have a they're gonna have a uh, fucking pillar in the NFL that's the Sanders pillar. When you have that ability. You can get away with shit like this, bro. I'm sorry. I know that there's a lot of folks that hate it, but look, he can get as fucking adamant behind the mic as he wants, but 
to act like that to act like it's not real and to tell me that Carson Beck and Dylan Gabriel somehow should get more shine than Shador. If it was Shador Gabriel and he played at Oregon and he had the same numbers, you would be blowing him sideways. So be, because you because you and the rest of your fucking cronies over here in the comments, because you guys know that being negative against Coach Prime and Shador and everything that they put out, because you know that everybody's going to latch onto that and you found a fucking community of hate, well, that's all you can roll with is your community of hate. You can't see through. You can't see through what's actually happening. So when I say this, he should dictate where his kids go. Shiloh won't have a choice. He'll be a fourth or a fifth rounder probably. But Shador and Travis will absolutely have a choice. And to be completely honest with you, both of them will be in the, in the New York for the Heisman if they stay healthy. CU is going to win a lot of games. Shador might be the first quarterback off the board. And Travis Hunter might be the first pick overall, dog. You're getting a, a two-way elite talent like I've never seen before. So let's just step back a little bit and look at what's actually happening and remove – the last name and the and the name on the chest. There's not there's not many schools or fan bases in this country that wouldn't take those two. I, I'm. You okay. wouldn't want to coach him. You wouldn't. You wouldn't take Shador Sanders and go. Fuck yeah! I'm going to go throw forty touchdowns and four picks. In college. Well, yeah. motherfucker, what are you? What are we talking about? He's not in the league yet. That's what I'm saying. But we're projecting him as number one. That's what you well, said. Well, Hold yeah, on. But at the same Hold time, on. that's the way this works. When you yeah, go yeah, ball in college, you get drafted. Well, I, I would love to have Lamar Jackson in college football over anybody, but I wouldn't want him in the NFL. Lamar Jackson's oh. won two MVPs, dog. Don't fucking sit here and act like he's okay, a but that doesn't mean I still want him in the NFL. Second most winning score at my, my president Mahomes so played NC Championship game. Okay, okay, let's keep it in order here. I want to I want to address that. I want to address that. Have you ever given a chick flowers in your life, ever? No. That's not surprising. I want to I want to address Matt's take first. I have a flip side. To your coin. Flowers, I got a flip side to your coin, though. Fuck I you, mom. Say, Ninety years old, no flowers. <laughs> I would say if if Shador Sanders had a if Shador's last name was Gabriel, he'd be absolutely fucking nobody. So Dude, I he, I believe that just because he has hold on, I let you talk. Sanders' Dude, last shit. name carries weight, Matt. And I don't believe he's as good as you think he is. And it, just because he does have the last name, I think it's opposite of what you think. I think if Dylan Gabriel's last name was Sanders, we'd be riding his fucking meat all day, every day. So John Sanders' name but, carries but weight. Numbers. Or Sanders' name has more weight because of the Sanders on his back of his name than anything else over his play. Now, that's what I think. Now, but, but his I'm not saying he's not good, Matt. I agree with you, Matt. I do. I, I 36 touchdowns, four, whatever he did, unbelievable. I'm not Pretty saying, good. but Pretty I want to know where humility is. Matt. Good. Matt, I, <laughs> I agree with that, Matt. But I also, but I also want to know good. where you, where the humility has gone in our, in our, in our. Man, fuck humility, coach. All right. What? Well, what about humility? Take okay, here. I got here. No humility, though, creates no hierarchy. Oh, my God. You, of all people, you, talking about humility. Shut the fuck up. Hey, if I, Matt, the reason, if I was, I was two and eight on the last show on Netflix, I yeah, was you were, it, it, I was, you were all I, I was trying to rebuild a culture already in the year, during yeah, the middle of the you year. Never, you never once thought that you were a scrub just because you had a bad record, did you? Yeah, yeah. I, I questioned you thought, myself. You thought you thought you were a scrub. You're all a scrub, but I questioned myself. Like, what do I got to well, do different? Everybody questions themselves. Yeah, like dog. you do get down, Matt. We all have down oh, moments I, in this I, game. I, wanna, I, wanna, I, I, I broke my ankle. I shattered my ankle, and I was like, "Fuck!" I came back, and I was shitty, and I, I was like, "Fuck, man, my career might be over." I questioned my shit every day. I was like, "Oh, fuck, I'm done." Like you all have, we have our peaks and valleys, Matt. Okay, so let me ask you this: Why can't and I'm just asking as your boy, I'm, as a guy who's been doing the show with, with you forever, I, you're my friend on top of, you know, being in the, whatever the fuck this is together, we're doing it. All right. Why can't you see the positive in any of these fucking guys ever? Whoa. What do you mean the positive? Well, I, I never... mean, bro, you go negative on Mahomes, on Lamar, on Dak, on 
fucking extra door on everybody if they on, on Caleb Williams, who's not that's not hard. But like if you go you go negative on Fields, you go negative on Russ, which also is hard, but still like but I also get got- them their flowers when they need them or we deserve hey. them. Dog, like, I never I you, you Mahomes has won three Super Bowls in five years and played in four, and you think he's average and Andy Reid's the guy. But why is that hating? But it what well, it's like the definition of hating. Look, 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 look. It, it made you both pause and be quiet. No, it, it was a pause. It, it was almost oh, shocked that you like, what do you yeah, mean? What, what do you mean? mean? How is hating? It's like what Maddox just said it. You you always find the negative. Always, you exactly. always find the there, there's never been a moment where, where you was like, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. Here's a Lamar new one. Here's, 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 balled out here's, tonight, man. Bro, he fucking five comment. touchdowns. He led the team. Like, I've never heard you come on the show and just, just do that. It's always like a okay, he threw five touchdowns. But and it's a whole. It's like damn. Like, it's like have you ever oh, seen? Have you ever seen the movie Boomerang before? Yes. Yes. Right. Where he's just got the he he just wrote Eddie Murphy's just rotating bad bitches right, and yeah. every time he gets them, he like the he feet. The deal. And he lays down in bed and she falls asleep and he pulls up the fucking covers and she's got corns all over her feet and he's like, nah, fuck this, fuck this bitch. On to the next one. I mean, look, I know standards are high, dog, but holy fuck, you think Troy Aikman's the best quarterback ever. So I'm confused. I mean, the thing is, we live in the current – we have such a recency bias, dog. Like, we refuse to look back, and it's not – these young cats want to go on fucking YouTube and see a video and start to actually think he can judge. I'm on YouTube. A current so person. Scary. No, but you don't go on YouTube to watch a fucking clip of Ken Stabler and then and then That's sit true. there and compare him to fucking Patrick Mahomes and thinks uh, the 21 year old TikToker says, "Oh no, Ken Stabler's shitty. Uh, Mahomes is better because he won me DraftKings points." This Mahomes is, is what we than Ken say. and it's not it's not hate when I say so. So this is what I want to be clear with on this day right now. In ten years from now. And Andy Reid's retired, and we look up Patrick Mahomes, and he's never won shit, and he's been fucking average as Joe shit. And we're going to come back, and I want to be clear. We want to come back and say, was JB really hating, or was JB actually saying factual things? Because I'm not – I've never bashed Mahomes' character. I've never bashed Lamar's character. Hey, hey, character. That's hating. That. That's I'm hating to me. That's Just hating to you, me. But I want to be clear. Let me give you a definition, Matt, before you finish. <laughs> I want to give my definition of hating. I want to give my definition of hating real quick. Well, you would know. Hating is judging a dude that you do not know for his actions that you know nothing about. <laughs> That's hating. That's Number, one. Hey, Number one. <laughs> you, know, hey, you know you said some cold <laughs> shit when, when, when you got to respond to your own shit. Number <laughs> one. <laughs> Number one. That's hating. Number two. <laughs> Number two. When you tell the truth about what you see on film, judging a person in your profession that you actually have the right to make an opinion about is not hating. <laughs> it's called what Smitty says, facts. Well, motherfucker, I have the right to give you facts on what I see on film and how I break it down and yeah, judge it and yeah, judge God. it based on the play caller and Andy Reid, based on what I see with this, what I see with that, and how is it hating? Because I, I, it's when, when, when you watch the film... Just just tell me the reason. Well, he's trying. Because when you watch the tape, JB, it is literally no way in hell that you're not seeing any positive. There's I no mean, way. Well, well, here, okay, let me, ask you, let me ask you this. Let me just ask you. You're the quarterback guru. Yeah, We're okay. fucking linemen. Yeah, I'm an, I I send you shit on quarterbacks all the time and ask your opinion. Do I not? You know more about this position than I do, but I'm also not naive to it. So I have an opinion, but I'm going to go to you the majority of the time. Even when I think you're wrong, I'm going to ask. Now, <clears throat> let's say next year, CU's 10 and 2. They make the playoff. They lose in the first round, whatever. And Shador goes for, let's just say he improves on last year. So he's got 44 touchdowns and six picks. And 4,000 yards passing. And Travis Hunter has 70 catches and 1,000 yards and fucking like four picks. And he's doing Travis Hunter shit, right? Let's just say all that happens. And which I really think could happen because they they have really fortified their team. And it's I think it's different than it was last year with the good skill players 
added to actually quality big guys that can do the job. Okay. <clears throat> Are you willing to say that you're wrong ever? Because bro, the, yeah, like, I, 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 I pride myself on the ability to say, like, for example, when the Broncos drafted Garrett Bowles, and maybe you, this was before we started working together, but I was known around this town as the guy who just despised Garrett. I thought he was awful. And for the first four years of his career, he was God fucking awful. I mean, terrible. One of the worst offensive linemen I've ever seen. And then they hired Mike Munchek, and he straightened Garrett out, turned him into an all-pro. And the first thing, I couldn't wait to get on the radio and say, I'm wrong. I ate, I'll eat crow. Garrett's an all-pro. He really figured this out. But the other part of it for four years of being awful was true also. But the ability to say, hey, man, I'm not right all the time. I make mistakes. My evaluation was a little off here. What is it going to take for some of these future Hall of Fame quarterbacks and future first-round quarterbacks to get that from you? I, I will eat crow all day long. I've always said I'll eat crow, and I'll admit. I'm not going to say I'm sorry because that's who I am. But I will admit being wrong. I have no issue with that. Like you came on this show last year, you and I both went at Sean Payton, and we both said we might be wrong. Sean Payton may know what the fuck he's doing, rebuilding this thing. I, I have no issue going back and say I eat crow on something, but I'm not saying I'm sorry because I wouldn't have said it in the first place if I have to go back and apologize later. But I will eat crow and say, you know what, I was wrong. Like I have no issue with saying that. I want to see Mahomes do. Listen, I'm going to say what I say is crazy. It's going to sound crazy to the novice fan. Well, it's, well, crazy. Like it's crazy how you can't well, say well. shit no more as a fucking the, – the guy that actually knows what he's talking about can't say anything because he's worried about fucking Twitter gurus saying, oh, you're crazy. Now say what you want. Fuck him. I, I know. But I want to say – I want to see him do more. And I know both of you are going to be like, what? Who? This is what I mean, though. You sure. No, no, no. Mahomes. This is what I mean, though. We've seen him in playoffs. I know. See, I told you. That's the reaction I was going to get. And this is what I want to mean, though. This last last Super Bowl was the first and four that he threw for over 300 yards, finally. Yeah, he but the same as the other three where he came back in the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah I'm not saying it. What I'm saying is he he he, he had – by the way, we, we, we refuse – and this is – we're going to talk about all the uh, number one defense. We could talk about all the shit that he had helping him. But anyway, like – he throws more balls at or behind the line of scrimmage than any quarterback in the last six years in the history of the NFL. That's fact. This is clearly clear. They also lead the league in yak yards. Fact. Meaning the ball's caught behind the line of scrimmage, and he gets more yak than any other quarterback. That is the receiver's it's job. not that he's the, – the reason I tell the truth about it is, Matt, it's not like he's dropping back and throwing one high dig routes outside the outside quarter cover backer in the it's hole. It's 1994. Hey, JB, hey, JB love a dig route, boy. JB loves a dig, dig route. route. I swear to God. Because you know who – Fucking digs. You know who throws a dig route? You know who throws a dig route right now that, that I really don't even like the guy, but he throws the best in the football? Purdy. Motherfucker throws dick like like old school quarterbacks. Like I'm like fuck. But does that make him better than Mahomes though? You know what I mean? I mean no, no. Now look, look, look. The one, one of one of one of your subscribers, I'm sure, Brandon L. All right, and I just saw this. Andy Reid has coached Favre, Vic, McNabb, Smith, and Mahomes. Are they all great, and why? So, so you're asking me? So he, he's asking like Andy Reid has coached Brett Favre, Hall of Famer. Michael Vick, who would have been if he wouldn't have fucked up. McNabb. Is McNabb a Hall of Famer? Not, not right. yet. Yeah. Probably not. Probably yeah, not a Hall of Famer. Smith. Alex Smith. Real good, real good, yeah. Well, first of, all, Brandon L is, Brandon, first of all, Brandon L. needs to just shut the fuck up. He's well, an he need to shut up. He's just saying that those are the guys I, he's close. You know, Brandon, but fuck you know, him. You know. Come over to my show. I'll, I'll honor you, dog. Fuck him. No, you won't, Matt. You'll be fucking saying get out of my show in five minutes because if you go back and look yeah, at what he's been still. saying, Matt, I'm just listening to your boy, Matt. He already has been talking stupid shit in the chat all morning. That's so okay. That's here's right. my here's my thing about it. First of all, he's Michael typing Vick, stupid shit. Michael Vick, Jamie Chiefs, typing and Jamie Chiefs, shut the fuck up, Jamie Chiefs, whoever the fuck you are. Number one. Number two, real quick. Sorry, Brandon. I'm just trying to give you some love. Apparently, real fuck you. Matt, I want to be clear. Michael Vick got a hundred million dollar contract from Andy Reid <laughs> in arrest and conviction and jail time. You don't After. think Andy Reid deserves a fucking 
fucking hall, hall of Fame career just for doing that when they wouldn't even give this dude a, a squirt of piss to get back in the NFL? Not only did he give him a shot and start for him, he got him a $100 million fucking deal. That's not greatness by Andy Reid? Okay, first of all, pause. I'll stop there. Number two, <laughs> the quarterbacks that he's developed from being absolute shit to great goes a long way in a quarterback book, by the way. I agree. All no right. one's saying, no one's saying three, wrong. Let's be real here. Let's compare the NFC East when he was making a run to the fucking the AFC West the in the last six years, please. And let's compare the defenses on both rosters. Let's compare the that the talent. Let's okay. Not, they so had an old PO. They didn't have any fucking three powerhouse wide. They never had a Tyreek Hill or a Kelsey. Stop. Miss me. They never had anything close to that. With Donovan McNabb, they had an older... McNabb and Terrell Owens, homie. They had an older T.O.'s, Matt. That's what I just said. He wasn't... Nah, uh, T.O. Oh, T.O. 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 He had fucking a hundred leg. Come on, man. They didn't have Kelsey and Tyreek Hill? No, they had Terrell Owens. He was older, though. He wasn't T.O. at the 49ers. No, it was T.O. And he came off a broken leg and had 140 yards in a tutty, homie. Like, he balled. Yeah, that was still T.O., bro. Nah, that, I, I can't give you that. Go look it up. Let's give him T.O. One guy. Well, the hold on. T.O. Oh, went from Philly to Dallas and had, like, Don't, three don't compare the rosters, though, is what oh, I'm no. talking about. T.O., didn't T.O. go from San Francisco to Philly, Philly to Dallas? And when he was in Dallas, he had like three straight fucking Pro Bowl seasons. Yes, so, yes. You That's mean what I'm Like, come on. T.O. Well, was in Cincinnati and Buffalo, homie. You had T.O. Hey, McNabb. Was it Brian Westbrook at the I time? Or was it before, yeah. like, bro, that Eagles team was nothing to play with, bro. Like, come on, man. Hey, listen. We, we yeah, got to We can make excuses for it. But in the day, bro, like, Mahomes yeah. is fucking different. Now, do we... Is he benefiting heavily from Andy Reid? Of course. Duh. He's, Andy Reid's all time great. Let's, but let's, let's, Holmes let's is winning these games, bro. Let's take this full circle. Look, look. Let me right, ask we got to take a commercial, so hurry up. Yeah, but, okay, take this full circle back to Shador and Travis, because that's really what the oh, conversation was. I, I, I would almost – I would be surprised if Coach Prime didn't control the situation. Period. I would he be did. shocked. If he didn't control the situation, if he says, all right, next year, the first pick is, come on, give me something just terrible. Worst franchise, worst franchise. Let's go. Give me something. Give me something. Who's bad? The Panthers. It's the fucking, uh, let's say the Washington Panthers. Why, why not? They're not going to, well, they may be at the top again. Let Fuck, man. Let's Nobody needs a QB no more. He's like, I don't want to go cold places, but everywhere's domed. He's not going to Green Bay. Minnesota. Like, you know, maybe, maybe Minnesota's domed. You know, I'm sitting here looking like he doesn't want him to go to certain situations where is there really a bad situation in the National Football League? That's the – right there. That's it's, why I disagree like with Coach Brian. Coaches, you may not want to be associated with a coach, but I don't know if there's a bad franchise. Like, none of the franchises are inherently bad. They may have bad people working for them. But I don't see how any any team that drafts you that high, I don't see how it could be a negative. I look, they the the Manny's just didn't want to play for the Chargers. The Elways didn't want to play for the Colts because they knew that that they were gonna move and they knew it was a shit show before it even happened. Like they weren't they were aware of what was happening and no one else knew that. So I don't know if if Shador plays at the level that he's supposed to, which I don't know why he wouldn't. Um this is going to be a very interesting topic, and honestly, I would be shocked, stunned, if Coach Prime didn't do everything humanly possible to manipulate where Travis, Shadour, and Shiloh go, period. 